We're going to take a look at the dashboard within Podental. It gives performers, practice managers and your practice team the ability to monitor key statistics about the performance of your practice. We're going to jump in now and have a quick look at what's available. When you first log into Po, you'll be greeted by the dashboard. You can decide whether you want to default to the dashboard or the diary in the staff settings. The dashboard is made up of a number of tiles, which each show specific information about the practice. If you want to configure what tiles you see, go to the select visible tiles and tick or untick the options you want. You can also decide whether to look at all practitioners or just a specific performer. You can configure which staff members have access to the dashboard by going to settings and staff user permissions. We're going to go through the tiles now and just give a brief overview of what each one does. The first tile we're going to look at is the diary utilisation. This shows us how much of our diary we're currently utilising and it will divide it into green, which is booked, blue, which is scheduled out for specific breaks, or grey, which is unbooked. We can look at specific dates and find where we have availability within our diary. If we click into the, the diary utilisation, it'll show us which time slots are available on that day. The next tile is the treatment plans. This has shown us how many open, complete and incomplete treatment plans we have by performer. It will also show you how many open treatment plans you have divided by no appointment or with a future appointment. If we go into the big view, it's going to give us a list of patients with open, treat with open treatment plans and we can jump directly to the patient to make decisions on, on the future of their treatment. We can also press view report to get a report of open treatment plans. The patients tile shows us how many new patients we've registered in a specific time frame. So this is for the month of October. It will subdivide the pie chart based on how the patient came to your practice. So here we've got five patients who were referred by word of mouth. Of the new patients registered, it will tell us how many have no appointment booked. So we've got 10 patients that registered last month and they don't have an appointment booked. If we want extra information on the new patients registered, we can head over to more information. Here we can see a full list of patients. We can filter out all the patients who've already booked an appointment. We can then navigate directly to patients who, are, who have registered and not booked an appointment. The waiting list tile gives us the information on outstanding planned appointments and you can find more about the planned appointments and waitlist systems in our other videos. At the moment this practice has an unassigned waitlist which has 340 appointments that need to be booked. It has 170 cancellations that are yet to be booked and it's got 18 patients on the short notice list who are willing to take short notice cancellations. If we press the, the button for the big version we can select a specific um, waiting list and this will give us all the patients on that waiting list. So this patient is overdue by 78 days. If we press the find a slot button, it'll jump us to the diary and we can book the patient in. The weekly recalls shows us how many patients were due in for a recall on a specific week and also what percentage are booked and what percentage have been recalled. If I look at the big version, it's going to show me a list of all the patients due a recall. I can hide patients who've already booked the appointment. And if I want to contact them directly, I can jump to the patient and make the booking. You can also run the recall utility directly from the screen. The lapsed patient shows us all the patients who are overdue by a specific time span. So at the moment, it's patients overdue by 7 to 12 months. If we go back, it's going to show us patients overdue by one to two years. And we can see we've got 2,100 patients. If I expand the view, this is going to give me an entire list of all the patients overdue. We can see information about how they've been contacted in the past. And from here, we can either jump to the patient's record to make a decision, um, or we can open the lapse recall utility, which will allow us to send a bulk um, recall message to all these patients. 
the total payments made tile shows us how much money has been taken in a specific day. So we can use it for our banking report. If we go into the big version, we can see the breakdown of the individual payments. We can see how the, the, the uh, payments were taken and we can see where they were assigned. So NHS, private, sundry, etc. The SMS delivery status um, gives us information on the SMSs sent in a specific time frame. In this case, it's yesterday. We've got 243 delivered messages, which means the phone number has definitely received that text message. The sent SMS messages um, are still waiting to find out whether or not the text has been received. It's highly likely it has. The failed messages are where the SMS has failed to send. They're important because we can look at it and either Either it might be an invalid phone number, in which case we can update it when it next comes to the practice. When we go on to more information, we can see a list of all the text messages and we can filter specifically on text messages that have failed. From here, we can, we can update these patients' records to reflect that they need to capture a new phone number. The patient portal requests deals with the portal. So we can see how many um, request for documents we've sent to patients and we can see how much is outstanding. So if we go into more information, we can hide all the patients who've completed the portal and hide the patients with no outstanding requests. And we can see all the patients who are yet to fill in documentation on the portal and if required, send them additional reminders. You'll be able to see the benefits you can get at your practice by using our dashboard. If you want any more information, please give us a call.